Hello everyone. Today's verse of the day is dealing with me losing my keys and now finding my keys. Two days ago, I lost my keys, but now I found my keys and I'll tell you after I tell you the verse of the day. James 1, 3 through 4. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So two days ago, I lost my keys. I thought that I left them at a gas station. And the fact I thought, because I have one of those re remote starts, and I did not turn my car on, I locked it, but I thought that I left it at a gas station because when I got to work, I thought, man, maybe I should get my keys and I didn't see them immediately. So I figured, you know what, I don't need my keys. I'm in a safe work environment, I can leave them in the car. So when I got to the car later that night, because I worked night shift, I did not see my keys. And I did not remember bringing them in, so I called the gas station and they said they had a set of keys but it turned out that I did bring my keys into work with bottles of water so I made my wife drive two hours with a baby who is only three months ready to go to bed and come get me but she was so so patient with me again that I have to talk about one more day. Let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. She was more worried about how I felt than me actually losing her keys or lo losing my keys. She's more worried about me. And it, it shows that she's building that steadfastness that, that lacks in nothing. In Romans 5, 3 to 5, not only debt, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Amen. I don't want to lose my keys, period. But when I do, it builds character. <laughs> it teaches me, okay, Warren, your mind goes on a Friday night after working all week and maybe having stresses and being older, you may forget something. Make sure you do this so you not lose your keys. It builds my character in that, but it also builds up. I didn't stress. Literally, that night I came home, I messed with my computer for a little bit, and then I went to sleep and the Lord gave me a Shabbat's rest. As you know, Shabbat is Friday at night to Saturday at night. He gave me a Shabbat's rest where I woke up at 10 a.m. My wife and boy wake me up and they're like, you going to get your keys? I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. The Lord let me completely rest and forget all about it. And the search continued the next day. We don't need to stress in our sufferings and our motions. We just follow the steps that he says and we will be taken care of. Because that faith, that faith produces character and hope. Dearly Father, just first off, thank you for my keys, but also, Father, man, the, the wars and stuff that are happening in Israel and Gaza, Lord, these are people and they love you. And Oh, God. Some don't love you, but they're people and they need to know you. Please, Father. Please be with them through this. You know the end, and I know that some things must take place, but man, it's saddening to watch. It must be even more heartbreaking to be in the middle, Lord. Be with this people.
In Yeshua's name we pray. Amen. Goodbye.